Welcome to this year's production of Mehmed Musical Operation. As many of you know, my name is Olga. And I'm Mark. We've been the co-chairs this year, and we have had an incredible journey getting to discover the secret talents of our past week. We're really excited for you to discover them as well tonight. Through your generosity, with ticket sales, donations, and uh, our lovely base sales, we've managed to raise over $6,000 and counting in support. <laughs> and all that money is in support of the McMaster Children's Hospital Foundation. One of the projects we're really excited to be able to support this year is the construction of the Ron Joyce Children's Health Center to open this fall in downtown Hamilton. So the center will be the only one of its kind in Canada, and it will house the Autism Spectrum Disorder Service, the Child and Mental Health, Child and Youth Mental Health Program, um, let me get this right, the Developmental Pediatrics and Rehabilitation Program, as well as the Prosthetics and Robotics Service. So obviously, um, having all of those programs together under one roof will really do a lot towards letting healthcare teams work together uh, to really provide the best possible care for kids in Hamilton and beyond. Should the show inspire even more generosity from you, we have helpfully included uh, donation cards in each of your programs, where you can make donations by either cash, check, or credit card to support the Children's Hospital Foundation. Um, if should you choose not to use those cards, that's perfectly okay. We just ask that you return them to either the producers or one of the bosses will have it in the end, so you can just save some paper that way. At intermission, please do go visit our lovely producers in the lobby. Um, they will be selling the Foundation's 2015 mascot, the adorable pickles. Um, they'll also have some snacks uh, generously donated by Wheels uh, of West Hill Bakery and West Hill Cupcakes. We also have a raffle with the event today. Uh, so you have the chance to win either a one month unlimited Moksha Yoga uh, subscription or a $100 Apple gift card. Uh, and tickets for those can be purchased from our producers at the commission as well. And donations from this and from our bake sale um, will go towards the Children's Office Foundation as well. Finally, one last thing. Please do turn on folks cell phones, or at least put them in airplane mode. Um, it sounds crazy, but we're using a lot of wireless mics tonight, and the interference does go up sometimes. So to save your own ears as well as ours, um, please take a second now. Thank you. This is, I know, it's really hard for me to do as well as any of you. Um, thank you very much. The whole team has put in a lot of work over the past few months, and we're really, really excited to share it with you guys tonight. Enjoy the show!
good old days when I was prepping, learning firsthand the pathophys of fear. Ten years I've been saving, spending every moment craving. I need income, oh hip, to pay my bills. I want orphans in Somalia. I swear I might go crazy in three years. Can't lazy. You're the queen of the queen, and she knowledge you will clean. While you do your PB learning, we'll be helping, we'll be churning. Sure you hurt us, you'll no help pay. At the end, you'll celebrate. And I
It's a surprise. Don't you guys just love surprises? No! But this is the grand unveiling of McMaster's brand new teaching tool. A tool that's going to change the face of mental education forever. McMaster, the school famous for the multiple many interview tutorial-based learning are not failing people, no matter how grossly incompetent they are. <laughs> are you saying we're grossly incompetent? No, absolutely. That's not a very nice thing to say, Casey. Even if it is, that is true. Who cares? This is medical school. Only the strong survive and make it into the most competitive of sub, sub, sub surgical specialties. The rest of you, well, I hear they always need more psychiatrists. <laughs> right this way, folks, and welcome to McMaster's very own exclusive medical school at Abbey Lab. Uh, wait a minute, isn't this the exact same lab we used to be met? I thought you said there was a super special medical school at Abbey Lab. There is. It's just the same as a super special undergraduate. <laughs> <laughs> now, like I said, for only $20 each, you'll get a one hour anatomy session tutored by our real best student, that being, of course, myself. Why would we pay to use our own anatomy? You're paying for the tutoring. Remember, I am in medical school. Oh, yeah? And how long have you been in medical school for? Oh, about three, three years. days, but that's not the point. McMaster, it's all about self-studying. I could have acquired a whole lifetime of anatomy knowledge these past three days. Did you? Did you spend any time in the anatomy lab at all? Okay, how about ten dollars? <laughs> you medical students think you're so great. It's true. We are. <laughs> you get a fancy new lounge, standardized patients, backpacks, and whatever this piece of crap is, you medical students are going to get exactly what's coming to you one day. One day. <laughs> well, that sounded ominous. I hate ominous <laughs> That money could have bought a lot of. I'm sorry, you late guys. There was an accident on the highway, and then another accident. And then a mudslide for some reason. <laughs> it took me four hours to get here from Niagara. Geez, man, that, that sounds really rough. I woke up seven minutes ago. <laughs> I'm in a interleukin alpha on that frat, and we had a raging party last night. I, mean, I just can't. I, can't. <sighs> I tried four hours, and she shows up like this. I. Shh, guys, it's about to begin. Richie, please tell me how that made you feel after this. Welcome everyone to your very first anatomy session at the Master Medical School! I'm Dr. Wayne Gerson, and I'm very excited to have you here today! This is a monumental step in your journey to becoming future physicians! <laughs> As you know, McMaster Medical School has always been at the forefront of medical education, especially when it comes to not having mandatory things! <laughs> we were the first to not have real lectures, the first to not have real tests, and today I am pleased to announce that McMaster will be the first medical school to not have real anatomy! <laughs> but before I introduce what we've all been waiting for, Dr. Ilya Kress would like to say a few words. <laughs> Dr. Kress, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> has changed a lot since I was your age, but anatomy is still very important. You need to understand how the body is put together to know how it works. I hope that no matter what new technology we get in our lab, that you still find time in your busy, busy schedules to work with real specimens the way I did back in the day. Any of us at the lab would be more than happy to help you. Yeah, so yeah, all yeah, I that's great. But it's time for a change. <laughs> and to explain that change, let me tell you a little story.
I got better places to be. I got the best. You know, so I go to the scene that I nope. She's like, I'm gonna go six hours and I hate traffic. Thanks a lot. I think I'm going to explode. I hate being in this crew. I want to go home and be very sad. Be very mindful of it. <laughs> I guess we'll pick up here next inspection. Oh, come on. Why don't you 
do a horizontal elective in learning how to take a joke. <laughs> hey, bro, how are we going to figure this out? If we can't, Dr. Light might have us killed. Or worse, expelled. <laughs> I can't do anything with my medical science bachelor's degree. Okay. I know pressure for the medical school can be overwhelming, Sam, but we have to remember to remain calm. People rarely get expelled from medical school. <laughs> That I'm starting to think that maybe you spoke the pieces so that you could teach us some pro com lesson about how to love each other under stressful situations. <laughs> Are you going to say anything? I'm allowing room for silence! Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, let's calm down and think rationally. We all know Sunday is all about keeping the peace. But Casey! Lord, Casey! Okay, no, no, no. Well, someone took the pieces and we need to find them. The heart, the brain, the uterus. <laughs> we need to find them all. She was insistent. She kept saying, the lab is open 24-7. It's 
why would I take it? I can go in the anatomy lab whenever I want. <laughs>
Those aren't even things. With all the committees and interest groups I've joined, I haven't even had time to study this thing. Why did I even steal this from operation? It's not like I don't understand it. Well, they did say during orientation week that there was no way we could fail medical school and that we were the cream of 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 don't they realize that it may, quite literally be, the William Osler of our time? <laughs> I mean, sure, so maybe I took the brain, but only so I could up my surgeon skill level to straight up genius. I mean, come on. It's pneumococcal pneumonia, not pneumonia. Clearly, none of them stand a chance at getting into orthoacrodermoplastics next to me. I'll be the world's greatest reconstructive bone of the eye skin surgeon of all time. <laughs> In fact, it's so certain that I'll get this residency, I'll even put this bad boy back just to show them. I don't need operation, because in a few years, I'll be operating. <laughs> get it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, kids, great study session. Man, I can't believe we spent $50 million on a piece of technology that only mad med students get to use. That money could have gone to so many places that needed more. What about our homeless shelters, our at risk youth, or me? <laughs> I'm living off bread crust and ketchup packets here. Don't they realize there are kids out there who can't even afford to dream about going to med school? Don't those kids deserve a chance to learn from the best technology, too? So, oh, 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 technically I took a piece, but I'm really just borrowing it. I'm going to give it back, and then take another one, <laughs> because screw you. <laughs> Check your privilege. It's not in the spirit of group collaboration to withhold things from my group. I mean, 
I've tried to build a relationship. I want to open a discussion, gather information, and understand the situation. <laughs> but a good remember would share the facts too. I have to put the uterus back. <laughs> I so long, I almost couldn't make the scene. <laughs> oh. But come on. They thought I stole the operation pieces. <laughs> come on, we have way better stuff here in Niagara. <laughs> MF2 couldn't come any faster. Hands out. How did this get in here? It must have fallen. It must have fallen in after anatomy session. Oh my goodness, I'm a criminal. I have to go put this back right away. <laughs> maybe, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Wait. But if I only took one piece.
I love Niagara. I love Niagara. I love Niagara. <laughs> Looks like the boss is here. Sam, I'm so sorry to think that you're so stressed. Do 
want to take a moment to talk about your feelings? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, if there's any consolation to you, I just learned there's no difference between an ECG and an EKG. So I thought that my stool was that I would help me catch up. But every time I look at it, it just stresses me out more. I started having nightmares. The entire faculty was chasing after me. And Casey was there. And I was wearing the boots of shame. And they were gaming. So I just decided to come That's very professional, Sam. Serious growth demonstration, maturity, and self-awareness. Great. Devin, what are you doing in a box? <laughs> what am I doing in a box? <laughs> Wait, all of you guys are here? I thought you said you were oh, too busy to come to my party tonight, you know? So, uh, but you know what? I'm going to go uh, catch up on Blue Craig Shorma, and they don't need Scott's towels. Devin, yeah, what's that behind your back? I can explain, okay? I, I didn't even realize it. Okay, okay, okay come on. Let's just put the pieces back and get out of here. This place is me. If you were a medulary thyroid carcinoma, and I were a pheochromocytoma, we would be meant to be.
Let's make like a flower and avoid this place. <laughs> Guys, what if this is a bigger moment out of all of this? What if this is an opportunity for us 
experiential education experience. <laughs> yeah. Really funny guy. Okay, fine. So you're thinking with someone who cares enough about the group work if something is a crazy business. Yes. Well, who prioritizes the group synergy above all else? Yeah. <laughs> it could be another med school trying to sell the product for a thing in our group Or top like, she's also a best group process. It could even be another first year who somehow avoided playing and got us into trouble. Oh, the Operation Game Makers? Like if they had like, a recall and took it without asking us? Come on guys, we're just hand waving here. We're throwing out ideas without any logical reasoning. We're not thinking critically enough. Well, everyone who has any reason to steal it is on the board. It just doesn't mean anywhere. But this has got to be a complete list. Really? Because all I see are a bunch of blank spaces.
even if they weren't a med student yet. You mean it? I don't know. I don't know if I'll go Jean, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna go catch up on some quick skills studying, get my- I totally just kidding. I have the whole afternoon off and watch Game of Thrones! <laughs> Talk to you later. Now what? Now we wait. Go to your cup now. Wait. Do I have to chill? Both of our safe sets will not. Alas, poor Scully. What do I do? I want to get into interleukin alpha more than anything, but if I admit it to stealing some legal like operation, I could get arrested. Or worse, not get into medical school. <laughs> Thank you. 
tell if it's love or hatred of water. <laughs> this could all go so terribly wrong. What kind of idiot do you have to be to ask out someone in your tutorial group?
inside of her to worry about who is responsible. Aha! Surprise, Dr. Light! You were trying to do this on us to cover up who really did not hurt you. And now we're off you. Aren't you shocked to see your plan fall apart before your very eyes? Aren't you? <laughs> I don't look very shocked at all. Goodness, no. I think at the moment the whole system went missing. That none of the six people have done it. And even before that, I knew that none of them would have really done anything malicious. Never. You are free. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How did you know? What? I don't think anyone who made it through both Casper and the MMI could do something as unethical as stealing. But you know it wasn't us. Why do we have to keep investigating? Well, we did do this pieces, even just by accident. And it's possible that six people work together to move the whole system from the lab. But I don't think that for a second. And if you can determine who did it, you can clear your names. And that her, you are the cream. Of the cream? 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 That was weird. <laughs> she did it. What makes you say that? A test? A test? Test it for boring U of T nerd bots. <laughs> <laughs> danger, danger, I am at risk of producing an original thought. <laughs>
that she completely hates us. <laughs> we got it all on tape. There is no doubt in our mind yet that she stole our money. No, 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 it couldn't have been with you three then. She was at a uh, how to get to med school 101 event that night. Dude, dude, you are already in medical school. Why would you know that? I'm kind of feel like I don't belong, and I refer back to my old ways, and I end up with events. And I was signed up to be a doc at that one. Sam, why did you say anything before? He's right, though. It's not one of the events. It's definitely Riley the Opportunity. Yeah, Sonny and I spent all day yesterday watching Riley from a presentation bashing the whole program. He hates. Hates it here so much. She would definitely do something to sabotage math men. It's not, it's not really the upper here. I forgot to tell all of you over that night when your human operation kind of went missing. I was getting a bunch of Snapchats from beginners of an alpha party. Uh, Riley, Riley was in them. And let me guess, you were too out of it the other day when we were mapping our suspects and maybe you don't mention any of them. I forgot. Oh, oh, you're useless. Oh. All right, guys. It couldn't have been Riley, the upper year, or Wyndham Free Bed. And that's because we found out who really did it. <laughs> it was Dr. Light. Yes. Shut the fuck up. No, seriously. We had a meeting with her the other day. She taught us every single question we asked. She tried to make the full sound, thing sound like a test. Beth was just covering the stuff. No, she would never do that. Guys, it can't be Dr. Light. She goes to yoga every single Wednesday, and I've never seen her miss a single one. So do you see it? Just remember this now. Oh, sorry. Great. Now what are we going to do? We're back to square one. Every single one of our suspects has a plausible alibi. Ooh, kind of. You know, I don't have time for this. Like, None of us do. I guys are screwed. I'm done. Good luck. Good luck. You guys should have stayed home today. <laughs> Usually I would meditate until we get paid to me. But I think this is it, Sam. We'll never figure it out. Sorry. No! We can do this. <laughs> we just have to work together and come at it from a different angle. We will find this thief. Must be quick as we program with all 
pausing people like that? Zoom and enhance. What do you think you're doing? You are accessing confidential information. Dr. Kress? It was you? It was Holy anastomosis! <laughs> Oh, 
were stolen or that pieces were found. You may have heard that the entire system was sold to another medical school. You may have heard the system never actually existed and all $50 million went to funding our pizza parties. <laughs> However, I am happy to inform you all that these are just rumors. Operation is safe and sound with us, and I have one tutorial group in particular to thank. Tutorial group 13! <laughs>
Hi everyone. Um, before we leave, we just want to thank you all for coming and hope you enjoyed the show, in spite of the uh, technical difficulties that happened. Have you ever noticed? It's good. Um, it was, yeah, hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you everyone. Good night.